Cesaria sang the word to me. Her voice was smoke. Neruda wrote of the word. His verses were ecstasy. But before all of this, the word lived in me, awakening from time to time, or perhaps awakening me. It is homesickness for the home I have never had. It is the first day I awoke without her good morning. It is the last color in the evening sky that faded before I determined what it was. It is the moments I shared with someone, not knowing how dear they were until they became memories. It is our laughter that truly was never ending, because even though she is gone, I can still hear it. It is an unknown song I caught only once, and I will never forget it, though I will never hear it again. It is a spot on my body that only she found and touched and knew. It is all the hidden places I have discovered. It is every time my soul and another's were awake inside the same dream. It is the silent glow of Christmas lights after the whole city is asleep. It is when I watched the sun set on the Caribbean Sea without a lover at my side. It is every promise I ever received and all the fulfillments that have yet to be made. Somewhere between joy and sorrow, between having and not having, between memory and fantasy, between intimacy and loneliness, I find the word. I hear the ghosts of Caesarea and Neruda, beautifully out of tune, perfectly flawed, unknown, unnamed, this most familiar and private sensation that would leave me for dead if it did not compel me to forever continue searching.